All right, so if the weather is getting better in your place and you've been looking for a bike that you can potentially ride for commuting, want to get a little bit of exercise in this new 2024 year, well, this is the 10 Ways CGO 600 Pro. And I got to tell you, this is a bike that actually would be a heck of a commuter for anyone who wants to get out there and get some exercise as well, but yet have the power of an e-bike behind you. Let's get started on this review. We're going to be doing some ride footage and unboxing and also going over the specs from top to bottom on this bike here. It's a bike that you want to check out. Unboxing and assembling the CGO 600 Pro by 10 Ways was really easy to do. One, because the bike was really light. Once I put it up on the rack, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and put flat out tire seal in the front and the rear tires to make sure I don't get any flats out there. Then once that was done, I put the handlebars onto the neck and once that was adjusted and put into place, I then put on the front rim onto the front fork, took it off the rack after I put on the kickstand, then took off all the rest of the foam protection that was on the bike. From there, I adjusted the fenders on the front and the rear just to make sure that everything was on straight, tested the electricals and put on the pedals. And after that, I was ready to ride. Okay, so here's a little story about this 10 Ways bike and it being offered by 10 Ways to me to do a review on it. And I gotta say at first when they reached out to me, I was a little hesitant to say if I wanted to review a bike like this. And one of the reasons being is that I've never been a really big fan of road bikes. But what made me change my mind and really want to check it out is, one, is the style. This is just a beautiful looking bike. It also has some features I'm going to be talking about a little later about the battery integration that I like a lot about it. But also, more so than anything else, is a lot of commuter bikes have these really thin 700C tires. Now this is not a really thin tire. And that was the first thing that made me think, hmm, maybe I wanna try this one out because I've never had a tire this size. It's basically 700 by 45C. So it's a little thicker as you can see than some of those thin road tires. And the reason being is some of those road tires are just a little uncomfortable to ride for long distances. Now this is almost perfect for the longer commute and for certain things or certain people that might want to go ahead and get the bike feel without losing the funness of riding a, a real bike that's, that's still gonna need a little bit of pedaling. So first and foremost, let me go over some of the things that you need to know if you're looking for an e-bike. And uh, especially if you're in the United States, you're gonna notice one thing first is that this does not have a throttle. Okay, so I want to make sure that's really clear. It does not need a throttle because it's an e-bike, of course, and you can always go ahead and start just pedaling, but it does not have a throttle, but it does have a torque sensor. So for those of you who don't know what a torque sensor is, that means that it actually senses how hard you are pedaling. So when you're pedaling, it senses the pressure that you're putting, and the more pressure you put, the more power it gives to the motor. So you do need to be pedaling in order for the motor to engage. Now, of course, on flat ground or even downhill, you can actually disengage the, the motor power so that it's all your own and you know you won't really, I guess, lose anything off of that. You'll actually gain more efficiency and a lot more range. Now, with this battery, there's a 10 amp hour battery, which is 360 amp hours, which basically means with this torque sensor, with this bike being so light at uh, just at 40 pounds or so with the battery included in it. Now on the website, they say 37 pounds, but it's actually about 41 or so, just shy of being a little over 40 pounds. And that's with the battery included. So that's the gross weight, everything that's on there or 
uh, when all the accessories are added on. That's what you're gonna get off of this bike here. But with the bike being so light, what that means is that you'll get more efficiency with a torque sensor and a battery that's this size with the motor that's in here, you'll get enough of a 350 watt push from that motor that will get you up to about 50, little over 50 miles on a single charge. Of course, depending on the conditions that you're riding on and everything that's going on with the hills and your terrain, that's gonna make a big difference on the bike itself. But for the most part, you're gonna get a lot of efficiency on a bike like this, and especially because these tires are on the thinner side. And with these tires being as thin as they are, you get a lot of road efficiency, which also means you will feel a little bit more of the road. So it won't be as soft as a ride as something that has like these fat four inch tires. But at 37 pounds, there's so much more flexibility with what you can do with this bike. Throw it in the back of a car, you can actually lift it with one hand. And let me see if I can actually show that on the camera here. But I'm just grabbing it one hand here and I'm able to lift the bike right off the ground with no problem. And that's possible for most people to be able to lift this bike into a car or run up the stairs with it. The other thing that I like really nice about this is that it has a Gates Carbon Belt Drive, which means you get something like 18,000 miles or something crazy like that before you'll need to maintain it. But it is absolutely silent. This won't ever rust. There's no links to go ahead and make any noise. Now it does have that clicking freewheel sound that comes from the backside here. And as you can also see, it is a single speed. So it does have a very large front sprocket here, which does give you a ratio that does give you a higher speed so you're not air pedaling too much. You will get a chance to help the bike out quite a bit if you want to for higher speeds. Easily 20 miles an hour um, is the max that the motor does push you up to and then at that point it does cut off any helping you but you can go faster you'll see some of the footage i was going at least 22 on averaging you know helping just pushing the bike along the way of course a lot of times if the wind is to your back you're going to have a lot more advantage of that so let's go ahead and also take a look at the front here simply turn it on there is a button on the top here we hold this down and then what you'll see is it does turn on and what i'll do is i'll hit the pass code which is comes default as four zeros and then it starts up here. Now the bike is on and running. And we can also, I'll, since I'm here, I'll just go ahead and show you. You just go ahead and click PAS123 up and down. And that'll give you your boosted assistance along the way. What I want to do is also show you that if you hold the up down for a few seconds, you'll see that this top here, this light came on. Let me show you again. I turn it off, hold it down. So keep your eye on the top right corner turns it back on and the thing that's really nice and stylish another reason why I liked or decided I want to go ahead and take advantage of the offer of reviewing this bike is because of this headlight it's integrated completely into it there's no need to go ahead and adjust angles or worry about it going in different places turns on like that it's not going to go ahead and light up the whole front of your road if you're on a very very dark road you might want to get brighter lights for that but it does give you a lot of safety and visibility having that the way it is Okay, so coming down here, of course, you do see that we do have a fork that does not have suspension. Again, that's to keep the bike lighter. Now, as we go a little lower down here, Tektro hydraulic brakes, 160 millimeter disc actually will give you really, really great stopping power. These CST tires as well are really, really good tires. They actually feel really nice. Now I have, you have a max PSI of 75 pounds. I actually put them to about 65 so that it does actually have a little softer ride and um, that is perfect. You know, the other thing I do like about this one is it does come with a Schrader valve, which is your typical valves. They're more common with the fenders. They do come with it. Even in dry weather here in California, when you do have sprinklers going on and the road starts to get wet gutters, this is really good protection for you getting wet and not getting dirty if you're commuting to work. So that does help quite a bit as well. Coming up to the top here, I just want to bring this to your attention. Here is your Tektro hydraulic brakes. This is a big name brand. So, you know, these do are, these are quality parts that we're getting here. A very simple speedometer meter here, which is something I really like about it as well. And it also does come with an app. So if you want more data about what's going on with your ride, you have your distances and all your other stuff. It will be registered on your phone when you sync up the app. And it also has GPS tracking of your your ride. One thing I really like about that they did is they didn't go cheap on the grips. Having these locking grips, these are really good feeling grips and they don't spin. Uh, just gotta, when they came, they were spinning a little bit so I could make adjustments because you don't wanna wanna do that. But then you can just go ahead and tighten it up and your, your grips will be very solid. 
uh, as well as your adjustable neck here so you can ang angle the pitch. Now this bike comes in three different sizes. So what does that mean? It means that you, the first size of a rider of between 5'5 five five to 5'9, five which is me, is the medium sized bike. And this is what you'll see here. So you do have a standover height that's about a little more than a 30 inch standover. I think it's about 31 inches or so. So for those of you who are at 5'5 five five at my height, this bike is just at that perfect limit. You will be uncomfortable if you try to put both feet down. Typically, if your inseam is anything shorter than the 30, but you know, typically you have one foot on the pedal anyway and you're leaning over. This is a, a fun, perfectly sized bike. Keeps you nice and safe. So 5.5 five to 5.9 is the medium sized bike, which is what you're seeing here. It comes also in four really cool colors that you'll get a chance to see. I picked this color because I like the just a, a more neutral style color that's on there, but they do have four other colors that you'll be able to see uh, on the website. And the other thing that's also available is a large and an extra large. So the large size will fit riders between 5.9 and 6.4. So these, if everything is of course proportionally gonna be larger and the extra large bike will fit riders over 6'4". So, you know, you have some guys that are really tall and that'll be what you'll have three options available, which is really smart. You see the integrated battery, okay? And one thing you can see here is that the battery is chargeable right on the bike. You can actually leave it on here, plug it in there. And what's really cool is that this is only a 10 amp hour, I mean, uh, yeah, 10 amp hour battery, which is, in some cases would be considered very small, but with the efficiency of the way the bike is, that's not a big deal. The cool thing is that on top of this being only a 10 amp hour battery, it comes with a three amp charger. And that is kind of technically a fast charger because at 10 amps of the size of the battery and three amp charger, that means it can take literally only a little over three hours. If you run this battery completely dead, it'll take only a little over three hours to completely recharge it. And that's, pretty awesome. I mean, that's one of the fastest charging, I guess, I've seen in most bikes. So you have that charger that will come with it as a standard option. Even though the battery is this small, they didn't go and hold back on getting you a fast charger for a three amp hours charging. Now, of course, with 50 miles, hopefully you won't have to charge it that often, but nonetheless, you can. And you can just top it off very quickly. That's another really awesome thing about it. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is it does come with also this fender on the back side here. This is also standard with the bike itself. And you will see in the installation video that it has uh, a little more, I guess, assembly than some of the other bikes that I've also put together. And that is because they wanna make sure that it uh, was packed nicely in the box. And the less that are put together with things sticking out, typically the less damage that you end up getting. And that's exactly what uh, I got is a bike that was not damaged, completely packed in a way that I did not get any scratch dings or dents or anything bent that I had to worry about. Even the kickstand had to be added on. These are really simple things to go ahead and put together. So that was really nice. Plus the bike is so light, it's so easy to go ahead and do that. The one of the small complaints I might have about this bike, and I understand why they did it, but this is a very small complaint is that the it comes with a thin seat. Now, of course, this is a commuter bike, which means you are going to be expected to be a little more nimble, probably pedaling a little more in certain areas. What's really cool though, is this is not a solid seat. As you can see, it still has cushion. Even for as thin as it is, it still has cushion. I have ridden many more other manufacturers that come with bike seats that look like this, that absolutely murder my bottom. And this one is not one that actually murders it as much. It actually is, Comfortable enough that on a 14 mile ride, I had no issues with anything that's normally would be uh, kind of hurting me throughout my ride with a seat that this size or this, yeah, the way that this style is. Now you can always change out the seat. The thing is, keep in mind, it does not have a throttle, which means you will be pedaling more most of the time to go ahead and keep the bike moving forward. So sometimes wider seats inhibit your pedaling to be, I guess, less efficient. And so that's one of the reasons why they do it. But again, this seat, for as thin as it is and as small as it is, is surprisingly soft. Uh, I might I still go with a shorter seat with a little fatter um, backside because I have, a, I have a fatter backside, I guess. Now you do have a 350 watt motor here, which puts out more than enough power for a bike that this, that's this light. I'm 170 pounds. When you see me riding it, it has no problem pushing me forward when I begin. Now, moving a little lower to the front side here, I also want to just bring to your attention, it does have a quick release 
so that if you do have a smaller or tighter trunk and you need to throw this into the back of that, very easy to do. These pedals are the, the only other thing that I would say is a very well designed, look at how wide this is and it's not like super sharp that it'll eat up your shoes if you're wearing dress shoes on this. I love the way that this is. Uh, with the aesthetics of the bike goes, this is actually really nice pedals. It's not, uh, they, you know what they did, let me just put it this way, they actually did a really good job putting quality parts on this bike. Now they, this battery also does come with LG cells, which if you're not familiar with e-bike battery cells and the differences of them, LG is one of the top rated batteries. So they are, I actually did reach out to them and ask them about their UL rating on this bike just because I want to make sure that uh, people are asking about it, that we had that answer in advance and they are working on the UL rating. I do not think they're gonna have any problems getting it, being that they are using LG cells, being all the quality parts that I'm seeing on this. It is also weather resistant, which means that you can ride this in weather that's maybe not perfect. I would not never ride a bike that's absolutely rooty when it's drenching you. Uh, it's just not good for any e-bike, but the fact that it actually has this rating of waterproofing, you can ride it and if you happen to get stuck on the way home with some rain coming down, you won't have to worry too much about it. Keep that in mind that I don't usually typically ride if I know it's gonna rain anyway. It's one, it's uncomfortable, but the other thing is that it, there's a lot of electronics in it, but they did actually get the rating for that so you don't have to worry about it. And you can see that it is a pretty wide handlebar, which is really nice, keeps it nice and stable. This is a very solidly well-balanced bike. It does come with this bell, something that comes with it. You also do not get the water bottle holder. So I would recommend this. As you can see, there is no place to mount a water, water cage, water bottle cage. It doesn't come with the bosses to go in and do that. So this was perfect. We do sell this on the ebikeproduct.com website fits most scooters, e-bikes, and everything else. This is, again, no exception. It fits this perfectly for your water bottles. It also has a pocket here if you want to hold keys, cell phones, maybe credit cards, cash, or whatever in the front. If you want to ride that you, you know, don't want to carry anything in your pockets. The cell phone holder is another thing that we do sell on the ebikeproducts.com website. The link is below on that. But these are the two things I would say. And because this has an app that integrates with it, you you know, this is actually a good option that you might want to consider adding these two accessories to this bike here. Okay, so now that we got the bike turned around, we're taking a look at the other side of it here. And what we have again is 160 millimeter hydraulic brakes, Tektro brand on this side and kickstand also was included. It does have to be installed. Very easy to do, Just putting these two screws in to the backside, tighten it up and your kickstand is ready to go. Now, we do have a keyhole here that we can pop out the battery. So. In if you don't want to leave the battery in the bike, like me, I don't, I rarely like leaving the battery in the bike. So you can just easily just take your key here, stick it in the keyhole, turn it, the battery pops up, and you just kind of grab the battery, pull it out. And as you can see here, we have the 10 amp hour battery, 36 volts, 360 watt hours. And very easy to put back in as well. Let's go ahead. Put the top in first, slip in the bottom. Once the bottom goes in, push that down and that keeps it nice and locked there. You can then turn the key, I mean, not, just pull out the key and you're ready to go. This also does have a battery indicator right here. So if you push this, it actually has LED lights that tell you how much power is in the battery where you don't have to turn on the bike. Of course, turning on the bike will give you a lot better or a more accurate reading. The only thing that's not on this is the reflectors that I did not install on the bike. You do get one that can just easily attach to the back post here and it also comes with a reflector that has a battery in it. When you push a button, it actually does light up. So there does, this bike does not include a tail light or integrated tail light part of the bike, you just have to put it on yourself. And they do include one in the box kit along with some tools and uh, the instruction manual in the box. All right, so let's take a look at the display here and that way you can get a better idea of how it looks when you're actually out there riding. Again, all you do is you hold down this top button here and this turns on the bike. You can see the display here at zero, 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 zero. We hit the, you have 25 or 30 seconds to go ahead and hit it once you, go through that. You can now see how clear the display is. Now there is some frame rate shifting on it, but at the top here, there's 60%, 15 miles. This is pretty much all the mileage that we did today. And as you go through the different, you can hold this here, it gives you your average, your max uh, miles per hour, how fast. Now you can switch this over to metric as well in our trip for today. Range, your 
total miles and back to the beginning. Very simple display. This tells you uh, here PAS 1, 2, and 3 or going back down. And if you go to zero, basically it leaves it at neutral, which means it's going to be all your, your energy, but it also does still record your speed if you want to be watching that and how many miles you've gone. The performance of this bike with a single speed, belt driven, 350 watt motor, torque sensor, 10 amp hour battery that can go up to 50 miles. It's like the guy who wants to ride without looking like he's riding an e-bike, but also want to get super efficient to go really far you you'll have that with this bike so again this is the 10 ways cgo 600 pro the link below you can actually go to ebikeproducts.com 10 ways to take a look at this website to see what they got to offer there right now this bike is actually being priced at 1600 dollars and for the quality of ride that you get for the size of the tires making it a lot more smooth than some of the other road bikes for those of you who may be wanting to achieve a 2024 goal of getting more exercise getting out there more this is the bike that you might want to consider now if you want a throttle bike this is not going to be that bike if you want a bike that you're going to sit down and let it ride more like a moped this is not the bike for you this is a true class one bike sixteen hundred dollars is actually a really good value for the bike of the quality of everything that's on here check out again ebikeproducts.com 10 ways this is the CGO 600 Pro and uh, multiple colors on there, multiple sizes. I think it's a bike that you're going to like. Thank you so much for 10 Ways for sending us out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.